Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix connection failed, unable to connect to EA server. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, before trying any troubleshooting steps, first of all, you can go to EA website or you can go to EA help uh, X account and then check if there is, there is any kind of outage or not. So if there is any outage from EA side, they will let you know on uh, EAX account page or maybe on EA website. So if there is an outage, then no need to perform any steps because we have to wait. Once the outage is over, you can try. But if there is no outage, then you can follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, uh, you can switch to different network and then you can, once you're connected to different network, you can check. If you don't have any other network, in that case, you can even use mobile hotspot on your computer. So you can use the mobile hotspot. So for this, you can turn on the data on the phone and turn on the hotspot on the phone. Now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot. Now click on the Wi-Fi icon and then you can connect to your phone network over here. Now, once you're connected to the phone network, now you can launch the game and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now, you can even try Ethernet connection. So, if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can connect, use the wired connection and then check. Next step is to, if you have the beta on Steam, you can try EA app. So, if you have the game on Steam, you can install the game on EA app. You can install EA app login and then beta is open for everyone. So you can try to uh, play from EA app. If you already have the game on EA app and receiving the error, in that case, you can try Steam and then check. This has also worked for a few players, so you, you can try this. Next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now run the second command. All the commands are provided in the video description. Now, once you run all these commands, now you can try to launch the game and then check if that does not work, restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to use VPN. So if you're already using VPN and you're facing the error, in that case, you can turn off the VPN and then check. If the you are using VPN and if it is off, you can turn on the VPN and then check. So try both on and off and then check. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Now click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, then turn it on. Also make sure set time automatically is also on. And then click on sync now. Sync now is important. If you receive any error in red color, just click on sync now multiple times. And once the sync is done, you can go back to time and language, language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. Now relaunch the game. Next step is to try Google DNS server. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center, and then click on your internet over here and then go to properties and then select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Once you select it, click on properties, go to use the following DNS server addresses. For preferred DNS server, type in 8888 and for alternate DNS server, type in 8844 and then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on OK and close this. Now close this. Now you can launch the game and then check. You can even uncheck IPv6. You can even try this. So you can click on the properties and then scroll down and over here you can see internet protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 you can uncheck this box and then click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check 
later on once you're done playing the game you can always enable this you can put a check once you're done playing the game you can enable it and then still not working the next step is to perform power cycle to perform power cycle shut down your computer first shut down your computer unplug the power cable from the computer turn off the wi-fi router wait for few seconds then restart your wi-fi router connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus programs so open windows settings go to privacy and security click on windows security click on virus and threat protection if you're using windows security and then scroll down click on manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browse all apps so wherever the game is installed if the game is installed in steam and so you can go to the steam installation folder wherever the game is installed open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then select this e anti cheat service game service launcher also Again, click on add and allow app browser apps and then open this EA anti cheat. Select this one also and open. And then do the same thing in control panel. So type in control panel in Windows search box. And then click on system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings, allow another app. Click on browse and do the same thing. So go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select this exe file. Click on open, add it add this one also add this one also so add in my case it's already added so if i try to add it's already added so again if you're going to allow another app add all the three xc files now you can launch the game still not working uh, the next step is to run the game as an administrator now so go to the game installation folder if you have the game on app manage view properties open folder over here and if you have the game on steam make a right click manage browse local files and then make a right click and then you can run the game as an administrator and then check next step is to verify the game file so if you have the game on e app then click on this manage and then click on repair once the repair is done launch the game if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still you are receiving the error update windows to the latest version for this open window settings go to windows update or update in security click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this connection issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel